Hello friends. Uh, today we are going to start in ASP.NET the navigation options. Before start the navigation, this is our home page and this is the home page that we already written. This is my home page and it is written you all are welcome here. This web page demonstrate about a university example okay the another thing that we would like to change is uh, the green panel green division we make right click on it and into that particular part this is my home page but whatever we want to do it we have to read on the master page so master page dot master we just right click on it into the style into the background we set a background image as a 2 dot jpg is there when i select on it when i press ok on it you can clearly see that one 2 dot jpg is available within this the another changes that i would like to make is in my project hard disk f drive asp practice 1 dot jpg is there 2 dot jpg is there i would like to put some gif image also gif means graphical interchange format how we can catch it add new item by add new item we can add some more web pages some more components and all that things but presently we need some existing item so add new item it is not the proper things to do over here so again we make right click add existing item add existing item means some items some images are already available on your hard disk in this one we move to f drive into f drive a widget images is there into there are there are couple of images i already put it down just for a example i pick up one by one g1.gif g2.gif g3.gif and my gif when I edit that particular images are available in my solution explorer guys how I can put it down my GIF images over here the thing is the toolbox into the toolbox standard tools are there into the standard tool <coughs> images there image tool when I drag and drop it is over here if I want to move it at one place to another place it is available I just make it big as per my requirement and right click on it property and image url is another option it is image url so when we click on that one g2.gif i am selecting and when i put it down here you can clearly see that one that moving object that is called graphical interchange format is available if you want to change as g1.gif it is also available uh, g1.gif it is final uh, one cat image is moving over here and there it's a really good and nice one as per my website I'm putting down both of this I move to the home page again in my home page when I click on it in a design part I'm getting this one this is the home page of university example now let me continue about the navigation today's uh, video session is uh, all about the navigation friends when we go to the toolbox into the toolbox when we go to the navigation part navigation is nothing but how to manage the web pages sitemap menu and tree view these are the three main components in navigation so let me take a look about this all that things but before we start about the navigation tool we need to add one more component that is a main management part it is an xml file so friends keep on keep on watching and keep on watching and pay attention add new item and in add new item sitemap sitemap is an important part and when I click on that sitemap it is an XML file that I'm getting now on your screen an XML file is display on your screen this is the header file of XML header part then I go to the next part then I go to the next part how can I manage this so simple answer is this is my root node and root node always known as home.aspx as a title I want to show, show that one home page into the home page I will manage so many things but before we start the so many things let me say that one what's about the university home page 
it's a university homepage but there are the courses is the main thing in this university courses in the main university is that I'm pick up site map node I'm using only title into the title I say that one C O U R S E S courses I of this I find out the pair tag when I press enter it is available again courses into the courses I need the classification about the courses so title again into the title computer and into the computer I will make one two web pages about this so control X this two web pages is my child node into that computer when we select the computer and computer is there we need to display the courses like the web page will create that is bca.aspx and another is mca.aspx as the showing item bca capital MCA capital so we can say that when the UG courses or computer courses UG and PG courses is over again control C and into the courses I cluster one more thing that is not computer but it's a management M A N A G E M E M E N T management when I put it down management it is considered as BBA bachelor business bachelor of business application and another is MBA I have to change the title for the same that is BBA friends here BBA is there and MBA is there so what do you consider about this if we want to make this particular website active we need to create four web pages it is bca.aspx for BCA declaration or BCA information mca.aspx bba.aspx and mba.aspx after this a root node and child node and all that things will be finished our contact us page is ready after the courses I'm putting down in over here so that is a contact us page that we already having this thing so not MBA that contact us and I'm giving the title as contact us fine students it is done we would like to add some pages I say yes to this into the solution explorer I can add it some more pages website add new item this is a website menu by that one also you can add it so many things it's a simple form I'm selecting not default but BCA ASPX and when I click on OK add master page is there when I click on add it is already there so let me take a look about that things keep how can we write down about the BCA, B, uh, BBA or BC information? It is a Bachelor of Computer Application. This is full time, full time course having six semester I'm adding some pages to this so I can put it down some more things uh, sub enough uh, is there uh, again that is add a new item into that one after BCA we have that BBA same master pages selecting by me and when I click on that one I'm reaching to that BBA dot ASPX when I click on this one this is bachelor of BU -S -I -N -E -S -S business administration it is a UG UG level course admission after 10 plus 2 it is full-time course for the 
for this university again i put it some enter to enrich this web page as a longer one i prepare bba i prepare bca now i would like to add some more web pages about mba and mca so mba.aspx same master page same page is creating into the design view i will put it down myself into the cursor and i would like to write some contents about this is mba so this is master of business administration this is master level course or pg course full time at university after completing mba i would like to add mca that is the last page of this uh, thing we are classifying the last page in mca that is also master level page when we click on okay that particular page is designed into the design part when i click on it this is this is the master of computer application this is full time course of university it is technical pg degree having 6m again i'm putting some enter for this so i can manage all that things friends it is over i press yes it is also over it is a master of business administration but you can see that when the content placeholder is very small so i can make it some enter over here to enlarge this thing and now it is okay i just close it i say yes for this same like this it's a bba bachelor of business administration it's a bca course bachelor of computer application and all that things that this is our home page that it is clearly seen in our thing now you can think about that things okay, how can we manage about all that things we just reach to the master page into the master page when we reach it the main part of this is this is the button where i can move it over here this is the another button where i put it down over here and i leave it done let we start about the tree view that is navigation main component please look it out at your screen it is going to a navigation into navigation i pick up drag and drop the tree view in my side panel of my master page this is the master page you can clearly see the extension as dot master i drop it over here and when i drop it here it will be available at the top of the page but i can move it to my panel also so i can just move it this part into this part now the question is that one how can we manage this particular menus and all that things or tree view component that we already prepare in my xml file just click on the smart tag when we click on the smart tag it will be available choose data source into new data source it will ask me the two option that is xml file or sitemap path xml file will be always connect to the xml database presently we don't need it xml database and xml hi-fi things so we prepare site app, sitemap and when i press ok wow it's a really great things on my screen it is already done in my master page and that particular menu and tree view and all the things that will be available on this one let me take a look about it how can this particular thing is managed the thing is home set as a startup page if my home page is set as a startup page just play button and we can say that when execute the button in few seconds my internet explorer will be load into the internet explorer your side panel which will be available on the aqua color it will be display the all that web pages within a cl proper classification or we can say that when a manage navigation yes this is the home page courses is there when i just open the courses i will found two courses computer and management when i click on the home page home page is the root page it is available now i go to the courses into the courses it is also synchronized it's a tree view friends 
so computer when I click on that one when I hit the BCA look it's a BCA page is loaded on my that things this is a bachelor of computer application this is full time course same like MCA I think in MCA something is happening in my tree view so uh, let me close it and let me check in the site map uh, is it MCA or any other thing is there into the solution explorer my page name is MCA ASPX ASPX it's the mistake about it so we can do one thing either we can change this thing as thing otherwise the website map is there I can do one into the MCA I added ASPX this is the by mistake typing mistake is there ASPX is there now we run this application again it will be loaded in my browser it is called Internet Explorer and within few moment mca.aspx will be also available because it was an error about the extension and all now I click on mca.aspx yes you can see that one this is master of computer application this is a full time course of the university technical PG degree when I hit on the BBA it is available bachelor of business administration when I hit on the MBA it is available this is the master of business administration and all you can see that when that particular graphics GI file of a cat is also coming here and there when I click on the contact us it's myself professor Abhijit Singh B. Jadeja BPCCS College KSV University Gandhinagar is there so it's a very simple way to know the learn about navigations navigation it is only one thing that we are completed that is a tree view but what about the menu when we go to the toolbox into that toolbox we have one more useful things in the menu when I drag and drop this menu in my uh, title bar it will be available on my header part but the thing is that one it's a vertical I use this one as a center of the part of the background that you can clearly see this one it's a vertical part if we want to make it as horizontal I'm moving to my property window into the property window it is it is display over here it is orientation orientation is the property where you can change your menu by horizontal and vertical I click on horizontal look it is done the same thing that we already done within this choose data source we have already data source that is called site map data source when I hit on it my home page is prepared my menu is prepared another thing, another thing that I would like to notice to you people is that when right click property now I am in the tree view into the tree view there are some some of the nice properties are there it is show lines so we move to that one show checkboxes it should be on to root look in a home page front I will get the checkbox but I don't want it that root but I need a parent so it's a very nice courses and computer have that things show lines it is another thing that is true and dynamic props pro property and nodes property is also very good one it is over here so uh, let me move to the uh, tree view into the tree view when we just show that property as a dynamic uh, hover effect so I'm searching for that particular property that is uh, hover effect when we move our mouse over there that node uh, should be used as a different color and different node so into the tree view hover node style is there yes in hover node style I just use that one as a background color your color should be changed as a green background and your uh, four color should be changed as a red one so it's a really good one let me run that things and we will take a look about menu is already prepared in my web page as well as tree view will be available with some nice property changes friends it is not a cascade style sheet effect but it is a property window effect look the check boxes are available when I put my mouse on that particular node it is colorly change my color background is green and it is red font when I put my cursor on the BCA it is changed I can just close this one also I can just close this one also and if I want to close this one also this one also possible so guys it's a very very useful thing about tree view whatever you want to expand whatever you want to hide it and now show lines is also available so once I just click on the contact us contact us is there when I 
move my mouse on MCA. It's a technical course, six semester course is there. Don't forget to move your mouse on the home page. That says my menus. It's a really good one. Courses. It's a computer and management. When I move to the management, it is BBA and MBA. When I hit on the MBA, the thing is MBA is there. It is Master of Business Administration. This is master level course of the PG full time university course. So it's a very simple thing. If you click on the contact us, my contact us page will be load. Courses, computer, BCA, it is there. If you want to change the properties without any CSS, you can do the some changes with your property in property menu or property part also in my menu. I click on the property dynamic hover style dynamic hover style when we move our mouse dynamically background color should be changed i would like to put it down as a background color as this maroon and phone color as a white four color should be white so when i put it down my mouse on my mouse uh, menu now look at out the look about this menu without writing any css cascade style sheet ASP.NET or .NET technolo technology provide a mouse hover effect by just using a property and so many things. There are lots of properties guys available for this menu and all. Look guys, nice. Color is changed, background color is changed. Look, it's a really nice work done by a .NET things. When you hit about the MCA, MCA page will be loaded. When I move the contact us, contact us page will be loaded courses into the management when, when I hit on the BBA it is BBA is loaded it's a really fine work by a menu and the tree view in dotnet the thing now would like to show that is the last things it's a GPS system nowadays there are there are very smartphones are available where you can show that when where is the current position of the cell phone the same thing if you want to know where is my particular thing is available this is sitemap path guys watch on your screen i'm just leaving my cursor and sitemap path will be available at my top of the things now i move to the sitemap path at the below line of this particular gif image i move it very slowly down over here and yes my sitemap path is also available on the same thing is that same thing nothing to do like this it was a menu and review where we select the data source property but this is not about this we are setting as a background color of white and four color as a black so guys let's take a look about this what uh, this site map can do for us presently within this particular video within this span of time within this 20 minute video we come to know that one what is menu what is tree view and what is sitemap yes page is loaded presently i am on the home page when i click on the bca yeah in home pages courses in computer bca is there when i click on the contact us look home page contact us is there when i click on mba look at the guys when i click on mba home page into courses into management i am on the mba page if i want to home page just click on the site map part and root will be available to the home page it is available to your home page nothing else but when i click on that one home page is there i think into that particular home page something will be happening same like site map part let me take a look about it my home page will be uh, home.aspx and in my sitemap, let me check it out. Home is home.aspx. No, no, no. It is H-O-M-P. You can clearly see that one. Again, a typing mistake is there. So I just backspace. H-O-M-E home is there. Now click a look about it. And again, this site will be loaded by us. And by this thing, let me come to know that one. How we can making this thing proper. Just maximize it now i am on the mca page when i click on it i am on home page from courses from computer mca is there when i click on my home page yes this is my home page you all are welcome here this web page demonstrate about the university example here we can say that when one university has some courses when we expand it there is two type of courses is available computer and management 
when we expand the computer we have one bca course when we have mca courses it's a tree view part one more thing that uh, we would like to mention is that one in your site map yes this is the site map how can we know that one the extension is site map in bca or we can say that one in bca ug level in mca i am saying that one pg level when i execute it and when i put my mouse on my bca ug level as a tool tip i am showing that so within a few span of the second you can clearly see that when when i put my mouse on bca so tool tip is display by us when i put my mca tool tip is display by us so this is a menu by which i can clearly understand that one ke how we can move it mca mb and all if i click on contact us contact us page is there if i go to the management and hit the bba bba page is there so within this particular thing you come to know that one how site map site map is important to manage the navigation guys if you have more than 10 20 or 40 pages how you manage this particular website by this hierarchical structure you can just you can clearly understand by the site map thank you very much from abhijit jadeja thanks a lot have a nice day